was 10 rated 432, and uh, welcome back to my playthrough of Mega Man Zero. If you haven't seen the previous episodes, all we really did in the last one was explore the resistance base and uh, learn about cyber elves. Today we're going to start another mission. Here we go. Some of the abducted reploids have. No, okay, I missed it. Okay, um, basically, some reploids. I guess they were captured and then they hijacked the plane that they were flying in, but they crash landed in the desert and they want me to find them. So, yeah, let's do it. Alright, and if you s are just so look out for those little sand things, or you, you see it popping up, and um, I'm just gonna let that be down there because the text is really slow and I don't. So, yeah, this stage is pretty basic. Just watch out for these mouse trap things. Or, I, I call them mouse traps. But, you can call them whatever. Because they will trap you. <laughs> and then, um, these things, they will keep the sand rolling in. They won't regenerate or anything. And then, uh, looks like we're getting a whole bunch of good little E crystals. I like them. Uh, and we missed that cyber elf there. I mean, we we got one, but there was still another one up. And those little mouse traps. Why? Um. Yeah, I don't think we can go back this way. Yeah, but the staircase is gone. But anyway, oh, those mouse traps are so annoying. So you'll want to kill those. And then there's these tornado people, things, machines, tornado generators, I guess. But, um, they don't do much. All I really worry about is over here, because you have to destroy the mousetrap, but you, then you can just do it like that. It's a little slower, but it's safer. Anyway, on yet, here is our boss. My name is Anubis Necromancis III. I work for Fefni, one of the four guardians. I'm the king of destruction and the ruler of the desert. The reploids you are looking for are deep in the desert. If you wish to rescue them, you need to defeat me first. And God, old timer. Alright, let's do this. Alright, Anubis, he does have a few, quite a few attacks. little staff thing, not sure what they're called, is um, floating around him like that. And then when he throws it like that, he's going to appear on the other end of the screen, when he goes off the screen, and then um, doing it again. Pretty, pretty, pretty basic. I mean, it's an easy strategy, it's just, um, hard to get down. And then here's his tower attack, attack, oh, I, I just called it that tower attack, and um, you have to jump over those uh, tower things, using your, what's it called, wall jump, and it took a little damage there, because when he does that that attack, it'll go all the way down to, um, in front of him, before it rises, but, um, yeah, that's all, pretty basic fight, I almost got him halfway down, it, it, take, it takes patience, this fight. All of the fights. In Mega Man. In general. So anyway, I am making Pokemon cards. Um, since I'm busy, I might as well just talk about those. Just comment down below. Anything, it can be anything, just give me what you want it to, its attacks to be, I'll find a picture, and, uh, just tell me the attacks and what you want it to be called. Like, it, if you want to give me, I don't know, an Xbox card, you can have an Xbox card for Pokemon. You can trade an Xbox card for, I don't know, anything. It, 
The only thing is it says fake on the bottom, so that's kind of sucks. <sighs> One more hitch do it for Anubis. Necromancis. The third. And if he would only show me his weak point. Because his staff could be used as a shield for him. Come on. Come on. Show me your weakness. Uh. Oh well, here we go. Got it. Alright. Alright, the bosses do drop cyber elves. Hard to reach it because I killed them all the way up there. But they will float up there. Here we go. Hey, are you alright? I'm alright. You came to rescue me. Thank you very much. Can you walk? Yes. I'll get you back to base. Follow me. Oh, now can he walk? Thank goodness. There is a survivor. Thank you, Zero. I'll have a medic for standing by. Will you take him to the entry point? Alright, I will. But you don't have to watch me. Uh, I actually didn't include it in the video because it takes forever. And if you walk off the screen without him, he will sit down again. And if he get, takes damage, he will sit down again. So I'm just going to skip that, and I'll be right back. Alright, here we are. All the way back. Um, thank goodness, I'm saved! Zero's brought back the survivor! Hurry, we need a medic! Alright, cool. Mission comes complete. I'm glad we can save him. Thank you, Zero. <clears throat> Alright, level B. Codename Warrior. Cool. That's okay. I mean, our rank is dropping slightly in every episode. It's not okay. Anyway. Let's continue. Another comrade has been saved thanks to you. According to his report, enemies are planning to conduct a large-scale attack on Resistance Base. If that happens, we'll need your help again. Me we appreciate your continued support, Zero. Alright, um, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna do another mission before we end the video. So, stay tuned. I just, that little frame skip there was me, um, pausing the recording. It's just saving my game real quick. So you don't have to watch me do it. Alright, and then our next mission is Duel in the Desert. We've got a report that enemies are assembling in the desert area. They haven't started their attack yet, but a large-scale assault can be expected. Even though our comrades built bar barricades, they are taking precautions against their attack. I'm still worried, because their shot is horrible. If... Alright, we just have to help them. If you don't mind. <laughs> That's like Seal's catchphrase. Oh no. Oh no, they're, they're coming. That's... That's not good. Here comes a large-scale attack. Um... Well, what do we have to do? Uh, we just have to beat them up. Yeah. That's our job. Oh, you little spiky things. You're so annoying. Alright, well, we just got a whole bunch of these guys. More spiky things. And little, uh... I'm not sure what they are. Little bows, shield, worms. I'll just call them They probably have a name. And, uh, these camels. I like camels, but I like sheep, so why didn't they make the sheep? <laughs> anyway, all you gotta do is shoot it, and then his head will bob up for a second, and that that's when you get to strike and have a combo, because it's not pretty close. The blue guys are coming in from everywhere. Look kind of familiar, too. Anyway, now we can charge our saber. That's nice. Charge shot. And now, I don't think they're really far levels apart. We can do a spinning, jump, <laughs> jumping, rolling slash. Yeah, totally. Uh, it looks pretty cool. It's pretty useful. I mean, when you're in the air and all. Alright, almost there. To be. Enforcements are beating up these guys. Can you assign maps? There are enforcements in the top of my head! Oh, 
<laughs> Sorry, I have to do that super slowly to keep up with the text. It's really horrible. It's slow. But then, if you're trying to play while you're reading, then it is pretty hard. Anyway, here's our boss fight. I'm gonna fail at it a few times. There are transport choppers rapidly approaching. Stay alert, Zero. Yeah, I think I'm. Yeah, I was never good at this fight. I I played it a few times. I never got past this. Or I mean, I did, but barely. I heard there's a highly skilled reptile in the resistance, but I never expected you to be this good. You're amazing. That's what excites me the most. My name is Fafnir, one of the four guardians of Master X. Now, don't let me down, kid. All right, I'm gonna skip it so you don't have to watch me fail it like five times. That was a smooth transition. Probably. You didn't even see that you switched the. You know.